Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you are more familiar with Visual Basic programming, you can create formulas and crystal reports using the basic syntax, which may seem more familiar to you. Generally speaking, using the basic syntax in crystal reports is just like using Visual Basic, except that it has specific extensions to handle reporting. When using basic syntax, you'll need to become familiar with the ways in which formulas refer to other fields in the report. You must also learn how to return the value from the formula to the report using a special variable called formula. It is also important to be aware of some of the special report processing functions that you'll probably need to use, such as report title or on first record. Also, you'll need to understand the data type system used in basic syntax. Unlike the data types in Visual Basic, the basic syntax is strongly typed. While you do not specifically have to declare a variable data type when declaring variables, there is no longer a variant type. You have the choice of either a date, time, or date time data type versus the simple date type used by Visual Basic. In basic syntax, the value returned by the formula to the report is sig signified by the use of the special variable named formula. So for example, if we took this commission field and we wanted to change it from the crystal syntax and edit it and display the same value using a basic syntax, we can do that. So first we would change the basic syntax and delete our commentary. To return a value from a basic formula, you type formula equals. Then you simply put in a reference to the field. Ensure that you have the basic syntax selected for your syntax before checking the formula in the formula editor. If you don't switch your syntax from the drop-down, you'll actually receive error messages when you try and save and close the formula, as its syntax will be evaluated using the crystal syntax conventions to which it no longer adheres. Notice that switching the syntax doesn't change the value. It's still showing 10% of the order amount. Now basic syntax will always return a formula result which must be one of the seven simple data types supported. Either a number, currency, string, boolean, date, time, or date time. While crystal reports does support the use of range types and array types, those cannot be the returned results of a formula. Also, you may use the formula variable many times within a formula, which may be the case if using the if-then-else conditional which returns one of two possible results. Also, even if you don't intend to use the result of the formula in the report, you must always assign a value to the formula variable. However, if you have the situation where you have multiple formula variables within a formula, as would be the case when using the if-then-else conditional, all of the values assigned to the formula variable must be of the same data type. So for example, if formula is set to a string value in one line of the formula, it must always be assigned a string value in the other lines of the same formula when it occurs. Another unique feature of the formula variable is that you do not need to declare the variable like you would most other variables used. Just as when using the crystal syntax, you can write comments into the formulas that can help to clarify a function. To signify a comment in basic syntax, begin the line with the word rem. You can also use the apostrophe character. The text that then follows on the same line will be ignored by the basic compiler when the formula is calculated. Another commonality between basic syntax and crystal syntax is the fact that neither syntax is case sensitive, once again with the exception of text strings. 
Remember that the string value of crystal reports, if it were capitalized, is not the same thing as crystal reports non-capitalized, but only if it's enclosed as a text value, which of course needs to be in single or double quotes, depending on your syntax. Many of the functions and operators used in crystal syntax are also used in basic syntax. So for example, subtraction is still referenced by the minus sign. And many functions, like sum, are used the same way. Or in this case, trim, also used. There are also considerable differences between the two syntaxes. Basic syntax consists of several lines of statements which comprise the formula. Each statement can be separated by either using a line break or the colon symbol if it's on the same line. You can continue a statement onto the next line by following it with a spacebar character and the underscore symbol, if it's needed. This allows you to write a single statement that consists of several lines if desired. You can also declare variables and assign values to them, which can then later on be used in the formula by another statement, much as you would in crystal syntax. So for example, if we just wanted to create a new formula field using a basic syntax, we first off switch our syntax. And notice when we do that first thing, it actually throws the formula equals in for us. To declare a variable in basic syntax, you use the dim function. And you say dim, and then the name of the variable, as, and then one of the supported data types. To assign it a value, you simply reference the variable and use the equals operator to assign it some sort of value. And then formula equals whatever you want it to return, which in this case is our variable. We can check this and then just save it and close it. Adding it to our report, we should see it produces 200. Now, using the basic syntax, just note that we use the dim function to declare the variable, which is then named as one of the specified data types. And just note that the first and the third lines are simply commentary explaining what's occurring. So these are our comments. The value of the declared variable is then assigned in the fourth line just using the equal sign. Also notice that you can add the word let to assign a value to a variable. So you could choose let variable name equal, in this case, 20 times 10. So it's just an alternate, legitimate way of expressing it. And much of the referencing to specific types of data values is the same in both syntaxes. Field values are always enclosed within braces. String values are always enclosed within double quotes. Uh, no single quotes, actually, allowed in the basic syntax. And date and time values are always enclosed within pound signs with no special referencing needed for just plain number values. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.